So, who is Marshall McLuhan, and why does anything that he said matter is about anything? Well, I'm going to tell you in this episode of America's Man's Man. By the way, if you're not subscribed to America's Man's Man, please do log on to americasmansman.com and just put your email address in the top of the screen there. And um, Like uh, the rest of America's Man's Men and Men's Women, hit uh, subscribe so that you can uh, both uh, reach out to me a little bit more directly than you can here. Um, uh, most of you, uh, uh, well, I'd say about half of you are still watching, watching you on, watching this on uh, the boob tube, and uh, of course that's bad stuff. So we want to try to avoid uh, any properties owned by the Fang companies, including YouTube. Um, and so I, that's uh, that's kind of at the heart, actually, of what I want to address uh, here uh, today with you. If you've ever uh, put a video on YouTube. Uh, and uh, have been censored. If you've ever been censored by Facebook, if you've ever been censored by Twitter, a lot of people ask me, say, Pete, why is, uh, why is your Twitter called censored by Twitter? It's not very descriptive. Um, you know, it's like anybody can just uh, put, you know, well, gee, I've been censored. I mean, how many of us have been in Twitter jail? Uh, basically, anyone who has ever expressed a, a true patriotic or Christian opinion about anything uh, via Twitter um, so this is where uh, this is where the medium is uh, is warping the message. If we could back off the um, the kind of uh, shock um, uh, gesticulations uh, which people make in the form of uh, gifs or gifs uh, for a moment, I want to try to back off the uh, the emotionalism because it, it is true when you're dealing with. Um, so-called social media, which of course America's man's men and women know as the anti-social media. Um, there's uh, there's often a lot of um, unthought, uh, raw emotion, and um, it's the leftists in Silicon Valley which are uh, accusing um, you know the the real Americans like me and you uh, of uh, of of not of not thinking of uh, of being less intelligent. Um, but really, what they've bought into, what the uh, the elite social media uh, <laughs> and uh, the uh, the news or the, the fake news establishment, the anti-social media, has really bought into, is an epistemology or a worldview which is rooted exclusively in a, uh, a highly deceptive trickery of the mind, which is at the heart of the infotainment media. That's a big mouthful, but basically. It's the idiot box and its grandchildren, YouTube, etc., um, having brainwashed uh, really an entire generation who's grown up with these uh, these devices like uh, like this one, which I'm not holding while I'm driving, um, uh, in in the palm of their hand. And this is uh, this is why um, this is why I believe uh, you have kids uh, that are just uh, going crazy, that are losing it, um, and uh, you know, of course, the big joke in. in Tinseltown is well, you know, if uh, if you don't like the television content, don't watch it. But it really does have uh, what you could consider addictive properties. Does this mean that we're not responsible for what we uh, what we consume? No, because we do have a choice uh, in uh, in what we um, in what we uh, choose to consume. Just like uh, you know, a, a morbidly obese uh, person. Uh, or even a, an extremely ugly person like Nancy Pelosi uh, <laughs> makes uh, makes choices as to what to eat. If um, Zig Ziglar uh, <laughs> said, "If you if you have uh, chosen, um, if you weigh too much, that means that you've chosen to weigh too much. Why? Because you've eaten the wrong things. You've uh, adopted an unhealthy an, an unhealthy lifestyle. And every time you put something else in your face, <laughs> you're choosing to um, to weigh too much." Um, whether you uh, whether you realize it or, or not, but um, of course um, we uh, we are social animals, uh, so to speak, uh, blessed more than any by our good Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But uh, nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, uh, we are uh, we are tremendously uh, vulnerable at our core to uh, to the social groups that we surround ourselves uh, with. Uh, one of the things that America's man's 
man is very careful to do in, in his life is to avoid surrounding himself with people who have uh, made it their business to adopt um, unhealthy lifestyles. And the reason, uh, the reason that uh, that I do this, um, <clears throat> and to seek out, obviously, um, seek out uh, people who uh, who have uh, who who have really really high goals and uh, and who are. Uh, very motivated, very passionate about life. The reason that I do this is because I know that if I spend too much time around um, people who uh, who have kind of that that um, uh, hate to say loser mentality, but but uh, that's what it really is. Uh, people who people who just they, they don't they're just letting themselves go. They don't care about their bodies. They don't take care of their bodies. They don't want to take care of their finances. They don't want to take care of uh, anything. They don't have. Uh, they're 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 just concerned about their own survival, and um, and that's uh, that's that's a that's a rather um, weak uh, way to to live, uh, especially when you've been blessed with the greatest nation that's ever existed on God's green earth, uh, a product of both manifest destiny and God's plan, planting the seeds of greatness within uh, all of us real Americans. So. Um, <clears throat> What does all this have to do with, um, uh, well, censored by, why did I call my channel censored by Twitter? But what I'm, what I'm trying to demonstrate to you, and, uh, and I, forgive me for um, explaining what might be obvious to you if you've uh, been following americasmansman.com for any length of time, um, but uh, the, the, the point is that um, the, the media, the media appropriates authentic social communication. What do I mean by that? Well. Um, as social beings, uh, God designed us uh, in, uh, to survive in part by um, uh, by, uh, by by taking cues uh, from our environment, including the people that we spend the most time with, uh, like uh, like women, um, you know, physically uh, adopt the same uh, cycles as the uh, the other uh, the other women uh, that they uh, that they befriend and uh, spend the most time with. Uh, you know, for instance, if, if they have a mountain bike, uh, you know, they're, they're all going to get mountain bikes. That's, that's what, I, what I mean by that. But, right. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyway, or, or maybe maybe it's a Peloton, right? Because that's, that's the hot one these days. Um, uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, the, the, the point is uh, media exploits this, um, uh, this, this good and holy design that God gave us. Um, in part to uh, to allow us to survive uh, under the most uh, under the worst circumstances, um, we don't need to use it that much. The survival instinct here in the United States, but in third world countries where you might get eaten by a lion or something, uh, it it pays to follow the herd. Media uh, appropriates um, authentic uh, both the locality, both the closeness, and the uh, authoritative nature of uh, of the local social group. So, in the past, uh, where we've been, we we, uh, we lived in a, a more tight knit world, um, you know, and, and we uh, we we took uh, we we got our um, we we learned about what's important from our pastors. I don't even want to call it news because news is is such a sham today that it uh, it, it really just gives humanity itself a bad name. Um, but <clears throat> and I say this as a former fake news anchor, trained and experienced in the art and science of manipulating via fake news, and that's all the fake news does and has ever done. I studied this and I worked in it, so just trust me on that one. Um, plus, I'm America's man's man. Um, so, um, so the point here is that ooh, I need a dollar, don't I? Um, <clears throat> So the, the point here is that uh, the, the media is uh, exploiting is exploiting um, is exploiting this um, this kind of um, wiring uh, this natural and good and holy wiring which God designed in the human brain to uh, to uh, this this uh, this kind of um, beautiful and wonderful survival instinct that uh, that God gave us to keep us alive so that we could follow the advice of Jesus and not worry about what uh, what will we eat, what will we drink. And this is this is one of the ways that God himself uh, looks after us and um, <clears throat> and keeps us um, keeps us happily uh, happily moving along without giving too much thought to uh, to these other things. I got to pay a toll real quick. Hi. Thank you. My pleasure. You too. Um, so, um, 
where was I? Uh, right, so the media exploits this survival instinct, okay? Uh, the media, um, the media, uh, you know, if, if you are especially, and this is why the media is all about, oh, you gotta be, practice social distancing, practice social distancing, because when you are fulfilled in a community like your local church, as Americans, uh, as successful Americans of all ages has historically have been, um, you are less vulnerable to the scare tactics of the leftist media. Why? Because, because the, the talking head on TV uh, doesn't seem so real, um, even if he, is, he or she is in, in high def. Um, because, uh, you know, you're like, well, that's just a box. But, um, but as we, uh, as we s socially distance ourselves, which is, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of the anti-social media, um, has, has uh, you know, social distancing is not new for him. He's been um, at this a very long time.